Next invasion, Ukanagashi. You see this in a ton of Kenjutsu stuff. Uh, <clears throat> see it in traditional Aikido. If they're good with their Vulcan work, you're gonna see this sword deflection called Ukanagashi. Basically, you raise the sword up and you roll it over. Sagal Sensei was just, it was just genius of him of being able to come up with this hand deflection um, based off of the Ukanagashi sword deflection. It's, it's just, it's an awesome deflection to do. Unfortunately, it is the hardest deflection for somebody to comprehend. It's very effective, it's very dynamic, it can be explosive, um, all of the above, it just, it's all around a great hand deflection. You could use it short range, close range, uh, last minute if you're caught off guard. Uh, there's there's a, just a lot of um, ways that you can apply this hand deflection, especially under duress. Uh, you can actually do a downward, like Gaidan Ukanagashi deflection off of a wrist grab. You can use that in Rondori. Um, it, it's, it's somewhat limited with particular attacks, but all in all, it's, it's very, very good. And it's, uh, like I said, Kiriage is probably the most practical hand deflection that you'd use on the street. Um, the Kiriage, Suriage combination, and then I'd have to say probably the next thing would be Ukanagashi by itself. Because that's something that you could use, like I said, if you, like you're ambushed and you turn and somebody's shoving you, you can get this off really quick. You're not going to get a Kiriage off or, or a Suriage or a Sotogiri or even Yimi if you're turning right into somebody attacking. Once that attack hits, you could actually just raise this up and actually get that deflection off of you. So it's, it's a very um, applicable evasion. It's, it's, a, it's a great thing to do uh, within your technique. So Chris again is with me. Okay. Um, so just basic from, from Makowski, just nice and easy. From Makowski, you have the Ukanagashi movement. Now there's one thing that I want to point out to you guys, okay? I see this with everybody, even with my own students. The number one rule of fuck ups while learning how to do Ukanagashi is this, slow. Don't raise the hand up trying to roll this over, okay? That is stupid. Are you paying attention? Do not raise the attacking hand up at all. If you're doing that and this punch is coming fast and hard, I'm not asking for that, but if it's coming fast and hard and you come up with this and you're raising this, this thing is gonna shoot off right into your face. So if, you, if he was aiming for the jaw and he raised it up just full right there and it comes through, now you're getting punched in the nose. And you get that scar tissue from a broken nose. You don't want that, okay? So you have to keep the attack on the same plane. The idea is that you're moving the deflection around the attack. This all stays on the same plane, the same path that it's going. You're raising and as you're rolling, then you capture with this. Okay. Then from there you have Kotagaishi, whatever you want. Okay? You can do other things then where you're capturing, coming down the Suyage into Kosodori Nikyo, into Yubidori. Those are all techniques that we're gonna do individually. But your Ukanagashi movement is not this. It's moving and then coming on top, capturing the hand. Okay, so as that happens. You're rolling and capture from, say, a Yoko Minucci attack, okay, from that side, slow. So as this happens, look how I put my, engage my hip into this, okay? As that happens, okay, from here, circle. Chop that, so from here, as this is coming, I'm going to have to, you're not trying to stop this, but this, if this is power coming through, which it is, this is going to be hard to go around or blend into him. So you actually have to engage the hip. So you're going from here to engage to where then you can capture and then move off and throw or whatever it is that you're doing. Okay? So the Ukanagashi movement, I, you have to move with this. Okay? Slow your attack. Okay? You have to move. So from Yokome, you can't stop. If you're stopping, you're not doing Ukanagashi, you're moving straight after. You're entering, doing Nidimi or whatever, and you're Noroskagi, Sumitoshi, whatever. But the deflection itself is you have to move with this. Okay? So as that happens, you're moving. Then this capturing happens. You have to be able to capture the attack. 
So if you're just doing this and you're staying here, he's going to retract that. There's going to be no grabbing. You can't grab from down here. Okay? This has to come over. Use your thumb at this point to be able to guide your rest of your hand over. It's just doing this. It's real simple. Okay? So from that side, same side, same side. So from here, you're moving this. Because your hand is open, it's not closed, you can use your thumb as you roll your hand over into position to where you have the Kultagaishi. Because this isn't going to be able to do anything. You roll this over, then you have the Kultagaishi. Or whatever. Okay? So, from that side, so the Kultagaishi movement happens. You move into this. Whole time you have to be able to drop your center too. You can't do this completely standing straight up and be able to pull this off. You're going to be lopsided. You're going to be moving. You know, you're going to be tipping back and forth. You actually have to be, you know, from here, you have to be able to move. Okay? So, Kowski, Yoko Minucci, from Ryokata. Okay, so from Ryokata, same thing. You can still use this. Okay? So, you can still use this movement. You use this for Rondori. Okay? Katadori. Same thing. You can use this. Katadori. You know, you have that. It's right there. You know, you're not, remember, you're not raising this up. If you try to raise this up, this goes into your face. But if you're good, you grab the fingers and you have know, Yubidori. But the idea is you don't want that happen. You just move. You just move with this. Okay? And you could use two deflections with this. For your Kutagashi Suriage movement if you had to. Slow it down. So this movement, boom, just move right through. Okay? You move right through. It's simple. Even though I did say it's the hardest one to learn, it is. But once you get the body mechanics down and you have confidence with your ability to keep the attack on the same plane, it becomes great. Key things. Don't ever raise the attack. Let the attack follow its course. If the punch is going for the face, don't try to lift the hand up. If it's a mune ski or a katadori, don't try to raise the hand up. Okay? If it's a, if, even if it's a punch, you know, mune ski, sorry, mune, uh, mune dori or mune ski, you know, if it's a <coughs> punch to the stomach, it's the same thing. You could use this. This would be hard to get this low gate on from a punch. So you're going to want to use this ukanagashi movement from here to be able to do this movement. Okay. Notice how I'm resetting. You know, I'm not staying with this. I'm resetting my hand at that point. I'm rolling. Resetting my hand. Rolling. Resetting my hand. Rolling. Resetting my hand. Rolling. Look at how I'm bent. I'm not resetting, standing back up, then resetting, standing back up. I'm staying bent the whole time. Okay? So, this is Ukanagashi. This is your third evasion in the Taste of Aki series. We're going to move on to the next one.